What's up, motherfuckers? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a clone of your mushroom onto agar, all right? It's a pretty simple process. Um, uh, all the things you're going to need for this is 70% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle. Got to make sure it's 70% because 91 dries out too fast. You'll need a pair of gloves, and then you'll either need a knife that you can flame sterilize, or a little bit easier is a scalpel because the blades come pre-sterilized, or a low uh, broken boy tech that I used to use needles because they also come pre-sterilized i'm going to show you how to use a scalpel and a needle in this video but if you guys were to use a, a knife that you flame sterilize it's the same thing you just got to make sure you make it or you flame sterilize it with like a torch and make it glowing red hot before you uh cut it out uh, i'll explain it later in the video you'll see but then you also need a mask you can use n95 or just like one of those normal blue masks i personally like to use n95 because I think, you know, it does a little bit better job, but it really is just personal preference. Both masks work. I mean, shoot, a bandana would probably even work. Just something to cover your mouth. I mean, for the longest, I didn't even use a mask, but there's a chance that, you know, you breathing or anything like that can sh cause contamination on the agar plate. So uh, it is better to be safe than sorry. So let's go ahead and throw that mask on like that. Boom. And then we're going to, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention paper towels. You're going to need paper towels to also Wipe down your space with a 70% isopropyl alcohol before you start. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, let's move everything to the side, and then I'm going to spray my surface down with a 70% isopropyl alcohol, and I'm going to wipe it down. Now you see, I'm in front of a flow hood right now. A flow hood is basically, it has a HEPA flow filter in it, it blows clean air out, and it's uh, it's pretty expensive. So if you're just getting into mycology or anything like that, uh, you're probably not going to want to you know buy a flow hood. So what I recommend is going to a space in your house with the least amount of airflow. I actually grew mushrooms for two years out of my closet and then uh, actually out of two closets in two different houses uh, So you guys can do it too. You just want to make sure you have as little airflow as possible So after you get to your room with little airflow as possible You've cleaned down uh, whatever space you're working on with 70% isopropyl alcohol. You sprayed your gloves down, uh, all that. You want to get all your stuff ready. So move all your agar plates right there. I'm going to be taking three tissue clones right here. And then you're going to be either taking your knife or you see I'm using a scalpel. And you're going to be wiping it down with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, and now here, if you're using a normal knife, uh, you would flame sterilize it, uh, but I'm not needing to flame sterilize it because I use pre-sterilized scalpel blades. So once again, I always like to be super safe. I, uh, spray isopropyl alcohol on my hands and arms like two or three times, maybe even four or five during the whole process, just cause you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. And I was also known as the contamination king for a while. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to do it this many times, but I just do it, uh, a probably more than normal or more than you have to just to be safe and sorry uh sorry i got a little off track there because yeah but go ahead and you put your scalpel blade on do you see that i'm not taking it fully out of the wrapping i'm leaving the blade part in the wrapping but i uh, attach the back on the blade and then i'm putting my scalpel down now what you're going to want to do is you want to rip the mushroom apart because you want to get the tissue samples you're going to be putting onto your agar from the inside of the mushroom. That will be the most cleanest. So you can see I ripped it out. You can actually take or I ripped it in half and you can take your tissue sample from anywhere, from the stem, from the cap, anywhere. I'm going to be taking out the three different tissue samples from multiple different places and then I'll be showing you guys how they grow. So you see right here, uh, I'm cutting out a little piece of tissue from the inside of the mushroom from the stem first it really doesn't even have to be that big you just want to make sure that you're trying not to touch the inside of the mushroom at all and the only part is touching it is the clean blade of the scalpel or flame sterilized knife or whatever you're using all right you see you got a little tissue sample out right there you see it's not even that big it's super small got a little little tissue sample out then you want to put it you open your lid of your agar Put it on there, close your lid immediately. The less time that the lid is open, the better, because that is less chance for contamination to get in. So then you want to move that to the side. So then I'm going to take another tissue sample. I'm going to go to the other half this time, and I'm going to be taking a tissue sample from the cap, or like the inside of the cap. So you see I'm doing that. I'm carefully, carefully just cutting it out, uh, doing all that, and then I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to be very carefully picking it up, picking up the lid of the agar plate, putting it in, trying not to touch anything, and then putting the agar plate lid back on, moving it to the side immediately. Now that I'm done using the scalpel, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it 
with a needle which is basically the same process it's just a little bit harder because you know it's not actually a knife it's just sharp uh so but it is a broke boy tech i use it for the longest it does work needles come pre-sterilized so i'm going to do the exact same thing i take the needle out make sure not to touch the blade and then i'm cutting out a small tissue sample from the stem of the mushroom so just like that boom 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 making sure to be super careful not to touch this uh little sample that i'm uh taking out on anything boom put it in the agar plate as quick as possible sometimes it's a little hard to get it off that needle so you gotta like twist it around but boom put the lid back on and you are done so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have to wrap your agar plates uh there's two different ways you can wrap your agar plates uh you can either use this uh, grafting tape which is my favorite or you can use parafilm boo boo parafilm honestly i hate parafilm in my opinion it rips way too easily it, it just doesn't work grafting tape is 10 times better trust me grafting tape on amazon go get it i'm gonna show you guys how to do it it's 10 times better trust 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 all right look so i'm gonna show you guys how to do both so the parafilm uh, the way i was taught is you get your thing or you get your uh thing and then you fold it in half and then you want to go ahead and grab the agar plate just like that you see i'm putting my two fingers on one end right there and then i'm stretching it out to right i feel it's about a rip and then i put my fingers right there Stretch it again right till I feel about it rip. Lay it on the agar plate. Put my fingers right where it lands. Stretch it out right to where it's about a rip. And then put my fingers right where it lands. Stretch it out. That's a tech. You like put your fingers and then you stretch it out. And then you put your fingers right where it's stretched out to. And then you just stretch it out again. Yeah, yeah. But look, grafting tape, so much better. Let me show you. Now, it is a little bit hard to get it going. But once you get it going, boom. Look how quick this grafting tape is, bro. It's kind of the same concept. You put it and then you just boom like this. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I didn't realize how many times I wrapped it. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, dude, you get the concept. It's just so much easier. You can wrap it. I, you did not need to wrap it that many times. Sorry, I took this a while ago, and I'm just now uh, voicing over and editing it. Uh, you only really need to wrap it two or three times. I wrapped it like four or five times there. But I used to be just like paranoid, you know, better to be safe than sorry. But boom, look how easy that grafting tape is versus that parafilm. Normally, the parafilm dude rips so easily. Uh, I'm just I actually got decent at it, so I don't rip it all the time. But bro, then after that, you immediately want to label. Labeling is one of the most important parts of mycology because in mycology right now, there's so many mislabeled things and so many things get mislabeled in the same strand and all that stuff. Yeah, but if you look at this, this is about like a week later or not a week later sorry this is about like a month later this is the original um uh tissue samples you can see now this is the tissue sample that i actually uh took the transfers from so you see right there i took three different transfers and i'm about to show you guys what the transfers look like the rhizomorphic uh mycelium looks actually insane so you see this was on 220 when i originally took the uh or i originally took the tissue sample and on 3.7 is when I uh, took the first transfer from that original tissue sample. And dude, look at all of the rhizo on these. They look absolutely beautiful. Now, if you guys do need agar plates, I actually do have them for sale. Um, head over to my Instagram. It will be linked in bio. I have actually all my college supplies for sale. Grain bags, all in grow bags, all that stuff for sale. Uh, just head over to Instagram. DM me on there. Also, have my website linked in bio on my Instagram. You can check it on there. But dude look at those agar transfers from that clone that first transfer is absolutely amazing now this is like about a week later uh there's again is their original uh tissue clone uh sample and look at these transfers now that they've almost fully grown out just look absolutely beautiful no contamination at all thick mycelium just mm, yeah but uh yeah that's uh that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed make sure to follow me on instagram and all my other socials will be below